What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I haven't posted sewing on here in years. <laughs> Today I'm doing a video that I have been very excited for for quite some time, actually. If all the stars and planets are aligned, today is September 2nd, 2023, which means that it's been exactly one year since The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power first premiered on Amazon Prime. Now I know we probably all have our own thoughts and opinions on this show because I certainly have my own, but regardless, I'm not sure what, but just something about the outfits they wear on the ship to Valinor in episode one just absolutely like took me over. They were so simple, but also they felt so like religiously inspired. Tolkien was a devout Catholic in his life, so seeing kind of like baptismal, rebirth, white, you know, seems very fitting for his background and inspiration of the show. Now, I initially had the idea to make one of these gowns probably about a year ago, like not right when the show premiered, but like maybe a little bit after. And I thought it'd be such a fun thing to do for a group because they're pretty simple. It's just like some raglan sleeves and some pearls around a neck and a lot of fabric, but that just never quite came to fruition. And now that the sag after strike is currently happening, a lot of folks are hesitant to do groups, especially if they make money off of cosplay. Now, I am very aware and in support of the sag after strike, obviously, but as someone that doesn't profit off of my hobbies, I believe that does make me allowed to do things with struck work or would be struck work. It's all murky waters in my mind, but either way, I'm very excited to get working on this project. Like I said, it's been in my head for a long time. I actually made this costume in just a few days, um, beginning to end. It was quite simple, and you'll see the process as I kind of get into it, but I am very excited to get working on it. I found a basic raglan sleeve bodice block pattern on Etsy that I'm using just as my base, just to save me some headache. But anyway, you'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. Straight off the pattern, this is not bad. So I did lie a little bit. I made a couple alterations to the pattern just to kind of get me closer to seeing what it would look like. I took off some of the width from the sleeves and then elongated them so they're full length. They obviously have to be, you know, hemmed and then taken in quite a bit because the sleeves are pretty tight fitting on the design. Um, this is obviously just a cropped length right now, just so we don't waste fabric and it's not gathered either because again, I don't really need it to be gathered to see how it fits. I'm kind of shocked that it fits me as well as it does just being straight off the pattern. And I think the neckline is the first matter of importance to getting this to look right. It just needs to be below the collarbone, I think. The necks are pretty low. I'll put in a picture so you can see what I'm talking about, but it's a very like rounded, pretty low neck. Ooh, you ever just have a sip of coffee and it just kind of like hurts you a little bit? Maybe like there? I should put my hair up, hold on. It almost looks like Galadriel's neckline is lower than the other elves in the photo. And I'm not trying to replicate hers exactly. Obviously we have the most screen time of her outfit from the scenes because she wears this into Numenor too. But we're gonna cut these down, reinforce the stitching because it's gonna undo all the back stitching I did and then see where that gets us. Okay. <laughs> I could probably make it lower, but I have a feeling that with the amount of fabric that's gonna be gathered here, it's gonna have a tendency to like pull itself down anyways. As far as the sleeves go, I'm just gonna have to pin them and take them in, make it look right, and then trim off the excess and see how I like that. That'll be some trial and error. I might just end up cutting the long side along the arm on the fold and then just making this part up here like a dart to here. And that I think would be fine and a little less noticeable than having the whole seam. Living alone is fun and it's a wonderful thing sometimes, but this is not one of those times. I wish I had a little helper. <laughs> I do have friends, but they were busy today. <laughs> Maybe this trick is like common sense, but I thought it pretty ingenious when I thought of it. If you want to get the length of something, don't try and like read the number in the mirror at the bottom. Just hold it with the higher numbers up here so you can actually see them. So it seems like I'm gonna do 55 and if it needs to be shorter, fine. Now let's get to making those pattern alterations, shall we? Thank you. 
have my front neckline pretty much gathered to where I want it. I'm gonna take some eighth of an inch grow grain ribbon, and I'm gonna take this and put it right around that top line of gathering stitches, and hopefully, in my mind, this will keep it from stretching out while I'm working with it and putting the binding on, and hopefully, just while I'm wearing it and over time too. I don't need to be particularly neat with this as the main binding is gonna cover this anyway. And hopefully I can do this before the sun sets. <laughs> Their necklines all gathered up and stabilized. I have no more excuses to procrastinate putting the sleeves on. After giving this some immense thought, I've concluded to do the sleeves the cheater way. Additionally, I also decided that I wanted to do this with French seams because the fabric is so thin. So I didn't give myself probably enough extra seam allowance to do that, but we're just gonna be really small and dainty and hope it works out for us. This fabric is a little squiggly, not too much, it is just cotton after all, but I was a bit worried that things would shift around and this wouldn't fit super great, and granted I do have a little overlap in the back so I'm sure it's bringing this up tighter, but for a first fitting, I am not, I'm not too displeased. I was really, really, really worried about how much gathering I wanted to do up here. I think that I actually got the perfect amount. Uh, I do think in hindsight I could have picked a fabric that was more opaque? But I like the weight of this. The weight could have even been lighter. But I think that would have put me into gauze territory, and I don't like the look or sewing with gauze because it's just spongy and it's kind of weird. The shoulder darts came out wonderful. I don't love that there's like a triangle on my shoulder, but don't think it'll bother me that much just when it comes down to it. Plus, in a photo, that's very easy just to shop out <laughs> if I'm really that pressed by it. The sleeves are pretty close. I think they just need to be turned in. I just want to have enough fabric that I can get the pearls that are on the sleeves to hold on to it. I decided I do want to do the pearls on the sleeve seams, uh, and I might regret that later considering I bought all the pearls the fabric store had, but <laughs> yeah, I'm quite happy with this in every form of the word. Okay, okay, enough, enough.
that, that is the end of this project. Overall, I actually found it to be quite simple to do. I was kind of unsure at first about how much fabric I wanted to cram into the gathering at the front and the back. I think I found about a good amount, though I may have mentioned it in the video, I don't really remember, but I think my fabric choice may have left a bit to be desired. The cotton I picked was very nice and light and gathered up really well, and the movement was good too, it was pretty lightweight. Though I wish I picked something a little drapier like I think they used in the show, and maybe something that was a little less white. Again, it's hard to gauge on, you know, what color things are from color grading and from like, I'm sure they had alternates that they used in the show too. But I really do think that something maybe like a smoother gauze would have been more the way to go. Maybe even like a peach skin? Overall, I was happy with the fabric I chose and how it looked on camera and performed and how easy it was to work with and everything, but maybe something to research further for next time. I wouldn't really change anything that I did. I was happy I stabilized the gathering at the neckline before I put the binding and the beads on. The French seams you can kind of see through the fabric, but I kind of knew that, so that's why I did it. So, eh, again, fabric issue. As far as the pearls go, I probably could have gotten away with using like strings of pearls and like couching them down, like sewing through like the gaps in them instead of like putting two on, beading it through. I didn't think mine looked bad or anything. I just think it may have let the beads look a little straighter. They just tend to shift around because they're only around a little bit of thread and they're round, so they're gonna rotate, you know? And aside from having to absolutely try and beat the clock with the sun setting when we took video and photos and everything, I think the project overall was a huge success. It came together super quick and it really didn't make me want to cry, <laughs> so that's really nice. It's good to have a project that goes pretty much how you think it's going to. I don't think I had to unpick any seams, so that was huge W for me. <laughs> but overall, I am very happy with it. I really don't think it could have gone better on the whole, like everything just worked out so well timing wise, and I was glad I finally got to do some more Lord of the Rings cosplay content, even though it's more like an OC than anything else. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. I post new videos here whenever I can. <laughs> but stay tuned for more because I'm trying to get my feet wet again in video making, so watch this space. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.